Switching to a thermal printer is a great choice that can save you a lot of time on your tattoo stencils. So in this video I'm going to teach you how to use one properly and how to turn any image into a printable stencil. First, let's take our thermal paper and get rid of the second layer which is the brown paper here. Then we're going to turn it around and rip the bottom sheet out making sure you leave the edge intact. Next, turn the printer on and slide the edge of the thermal paper in this cap until you hear a buzzing sound. Now that the paper is secured, we can head over to our laptop and prepare the image. Okay, so I have my image opened in Photoshop and we're gonna set it up for the thermal printer. If you notice, the photo I'm using has a slight coloration, so the first thing I wanna do is click the little lock here in order to unlock my layer, then we're gonna go to image, adjustment and click on the saturate as it helps us see the correct zones better. Next we're going to duplicate our layer by right clicking on it and selecting duplicate layer. You can also do it a lot quicker by pressing command plus J or control plus J if you're using windows. Make sure you have the black color selected as your primary color. To switch between the two you can just hit the X key. Now we're going to go to filter and click on filter gallery so Photoshop will open a new window with the preview of your image on the left side and a selection of filters on the right side. The filter we need to use for this can be found under sketch and it's called photocopy. Click on it and now you're going to see two sliders on the right. One labeled darkness which controls the amount of black in the image and another one labeled detail which controls the amount of detail visible. Once you're happy, just click OK and now we have something that looks a lot closer to a stencil. You can click on the little eye in order to hide and unhide the top layer so you can check if the stencil needs more information. If you want to darken certain areas of your image, you can select the burn tool from the toolbar on your left side, select midtones up here, set the exposure to 100 and now you can use your brush and click over the areas you want to darken. To change the size of your brush, you can use the bracket keys. If you want to add even more details to your stencil, you can click here and select Darken, which will remove the light tones to display an overlay of your stencil, making it easier to see what's missing. Then click here to create a new layer and click on it to select it. Then go and select your brush tool from the toolbar, make it a bit smaller. And now you can draw the extra details using your mouse or a graphics tablet. Once we're happy with the way it looks, we can go up here to File, then click on Print and bring up the Printing Setup window. You can now choose your preferred layout and your thermal printer from the drop-down menu. The thermal printer normally flips your image so we need to click on print settings and then we're just going to tick this little box in order to prevent that from happening. You can now scroll down, choose the size of your print and once you're ready you can simply hit print and watch the magic happen. If you need to print larger stencils or images, we can do that very easily. First we need to select the two stencil layers, then we're going to right click and select merge layers. Next we're going to select the slice tool on the toolbar, and we're going to right click the image we want to slice up, then click on divide slice, set the number of horizontal and vertical slices you need, and hit OK. Finally we're going to go to File, Export and click on Save for Web. Now we're going to hit Save, select where we want our slices to be exported and hit OK. We now have our stencil saved as four different images, so now we can open them in Photoshop separately and we can print each one. 
that's all for today thank you very much for watching and if you found this video helpful don't forget to drop kick that like button and follow me for more tattoo videos see you next time